weekly RuneScape podcast where we talk about all events upcoming in the RuneScape world. All right, so one epidemic going on in the RuneScape 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 <laughs> world. RuneScape world, guys, is botters. What do you guys think about botters? I hate them. I tell you what. I tell you what, Ron. <laughs> I was cutting myself an oak tree, and I said to this guy, I says, "Hey, uh, what's your wood cutting level?" He doesn't say nothing back. So you know what Water. I do? Water. I, I say, Reporter. "I'ma report you Reporter. for macroing a use of bots, you filthy animal." I will say. I tried botting myself. <laughs> botting is something that's tempting, but it's just illegal, guys. We can't do it. Can't well, uh, I tell you this, Ron. Uh, I got a little lazy in my RuneScape career. <laughs> so uh, my friend told me about this website called PowerBot.org. Now, PowerBot.org allows you to download scripts to do things such as woodcut, mine, Train. I mean, it did everything, darn it. Archery. Archery, gosh! <laughs> and you know, I, I tried botting myself for about 16 hours. And that's why I truly believe botters should be banned from RuneScape. Alright, now we're going to be talking about some attributes you can get here on RuneScape and the RuneScape world. Uh, I think an important attribute you can uh, accomplish and get higher... I mean, you can get all the attributes higher, but one one attribute you can get higher and is really uh, really beneficial to you as an individual is is mining and smithing. I totally forgot. What I was gonna say, <laughs> all right. So mining and smithing, yeah. You just you just go down to an old mine, grab a pickaxe, and you start uh, axing away at some uh, some 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 core some ore. Is that yeah? Some ore. Yep, it is ore. And then you get that ore. You take it to a furnace, right? You put it in the furnace. You get a bar made out of whatever that ore was made out of, right? What do you then, what do you do with that bar? And on? then this is where the smithing comes in. Smithing okay. is something that's just you can make stuff, you can sell that stuff, get some money. So yeah, you're gonna take these bars, make things out bars. of these bars, like you know, swords or armor or anything like that, and you're gonna sell it off because that's how that's a good way to make money in my opinion. All right, another important attribute here in the RuneScape world is attack. You need attack leveled up because if you don't have your attack leveled up, you can't use those essential mining picks to be able to mine the most uh, expert ores out there because you need those to make better armor. And with that better armor, you can take on dragons, giants, Bears. Goblins, bears. Oh my. Bears. There's just so much. There's so many. There's just so many things in the RuneScape world for you to attack, and so yeah, I think you uh, need to level up your attack, and yeah. And you know, you know what else I like about attack? You know, <clears throat> when you're attacking a monster, you always hate seeing those blue little zeros, right? Oh my god. And you know, it. it's my philosophy that the higher your attack is, the more often you will hit a monster. And now. This is all level based. You can't have five attack and hit a level hundred dragon. No but, way. No but you know, way. Just no you way know, get get about. Uh, let's let's throw around a number seventy attack. You're gonna be smacking that thing, getting some numbers up there. You yeah, know? But Zach, tell us some strategies <laughs> on how to get to that level seventy attack. It's not easy for all users. All right. Well, there's two ways. Well, the first way we're gonna do the easy way. Uh, I'm not I'm not proud of this. Bottom. You can go to powerbot.org. <laughs> And download yourself a script to attack monsters for you and eat food so you don't die. Not proud of it, the best way. Now, the second way I like to do it is, now there's a place called the General Stronghold of Security. Now there's mobs down there that will attack you without you having to click them. So, I prefer to get a high defense level Put where retaliate. they don't yep, auto-retaliate them. Have a high defense so they don't hit you. And, you know, just sit there, you know. Just sit there and attack them all day. And you're, oh, by golly, you're going to get some numbers up there. Your attack's going to go up. Strength, hit points, defense, whatever you need. And, you know, it's really critical to the uh, grind style of RuneScape. <laughs> because without these numbers, you cannot progress to attack those high-level dragons, such as the King Black Dragon or General Grey Door. Yeah. What some people don't get, Zach, though, is that attack isn't the only thing you need. You need your strength, and you need your defense. Oh. Oh, do you? Yeah. The defense. Well, why you is that? Know. You need the defense leveled up, because you to 
be able to wear better armor. You need to have a uh, better defense. You know. Is there is there a uh, perks from wearing better armor? <laughs> uh, yeah, you get a. <laughs> I believe you get a, a, a hefty strength bonus by each tier of armor as you go up, which ultimately, in the sense, helps you defeat those dragons. <laughs> Which is the ultimate goal of RuneScape. Beating dragons. And going into the wilderness, of course. Oh. Yes, of course. Oh, and that, that will be our next topic. Now, speaking about PKing, which is player killing, this is something that can be done in the wilderness. And now... If One of the play, best aspects it, about RuneScape here. It, it's really a good aspect of the uh, player versus player to get satisfaction that you're better than another human. So now, if a person attacks you in the wilderness... They get a skull above their head, which means they keep none of their items if you kill them. So, if you run at someone in the level 20 wilderness, they can't run all the way back without you getting some good shots in. And let's say they got a pretty bountiful loot on them. You know, they got full rune. That's about 150k in the Grand Exchange right now. You know, you get that full rune, you can sell that. You know, and then that can ultimately progress... To slaying dragons! But dragons. Zach, is, is the risk of losing all your items and going into the wilderness and losing to someone else worth it? Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I'm an experienced RuneScape player, and I'll tell you this. You win some, you lose some, Ron. You can't win them all. You can't lose them all. You know, you're going to find that noob, and you're going to take his rune armor. Or bronze armor, because, you know, he's not doesn't have a high enough strength level. Well, yeah. and you know, like we said before... You get those stats up, the defense, people hit you it's less. Easy. You know, you don't have to eat as much food. You outlast someone in a fight, you know. You hit the high numbers, you, you hit them with the dragon-dagger combo, the one-two. The one-two. The old one-two, get them poisoned, cast you know. the spells. You know, fire, what are they going to do? They're, they're going to have to be eating their shark as fast as they can, but boom, they're dead. They're already, they're, they can't but, click that fast. But what people don't understand, it's not just the players in the wilderness that are dangerous. There are also creatures in the wilderness that can get to you. Oh, creatures. I tell you this. I know, hop into level 19 wilderness by Edgeville. There's some dragons out there. Green dragons. Very profitable. You got the dragon mounds and the green D hide. Sells for about 6k for both of them. You know, That's you, get a full, right there. you get a full inventory, bring that back to the Grand Exchange, get some money so you can fight some more dragons. Now, I will say this. Level 19 wilderness is nothing to mess with, people. Nothing. Nothing. You go out there, you're going to find a level 100 that's just going to kill you in a second. And then, not only do you lose your, your dragon bones and your dehyde, there's your armor. It's there's gone. Your, there's your armor. Teleport right back to Lumbridge. Yep. And then you get the long trip back to Varrock. Unless, of course, you got 25 magic. Talk about like numbers. All right, so now we're going to talk about the newer version of RuneScape because I think as a uh, as a consensus between us three, we like the old one better. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, so I, I personally don't like the new RuneScape. Let's get other opinions on it. Guys, what do you think about it? Um, I think the new RuneScape is uh, trash compared to the old one. old one, it was just so much better. All the grinding you had to do to get up to that high, high level, it was just way too much fun. It's just a classic, man. Yep. And you know, the new RuneScape, they call it the EOC. EOC. Not sure what it means, but I know that's what it's called. They made it pay to win. You can pay money to get a stat to the max level. That's boosy trifling if I've ever heard it. <laughs> now, coming from a real nerd, I will also say this. <laughs> I've played World of Warcraft, oh, which yeah. is what EOC, the new RuneScape, was also like. You have a set ability that, or a set of abilities you can use on other players or monsters such as dragons, that can, they can make them bleed or stun them. I mean, it's just bogus. Why? What's wrong with just a one-click attack? You know, you change it to slash stab or, you know, swipe. Walk. You know what's wrong with that? EOC, they 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 suck. I'm done with them. <laughs> And uh, as we, we wrap up here, I'd just like to thank everyone for tuning in to the weekly podcast of RuneScape. We loved having you here. You were a great audience. Um, you know, follow our SoundCloud. We're going to release our podcast there. Uh, hit us up on iTunes, 99 cents for a podcast each week. And, uh, you know, it's been great, guys. Keep on grinding, guys. Scape is life. Scape is life. Right.